And joining us now is Houston's Fire Chief Samuel Pena. Chief Pena, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Savannah. It's just been a few days, but do you have any better idea of what may have initiated, what have caused the crowd to start stampeding the stage? Savannah, first of all, I'd like to uh, express our condolences to the families of the deceased, and certainly our prayers are with them and, and the injured that still remain in the hospital. So the, the investigation is still ongoing. It's, uh, you know, it's still in its infancy, for sure, but uh, we're, we're getting, uh, starting to get some picture of, of what may have caused the, uh, this incident. Um, it seems as though um, the crowd began to, to try to push towards the front to get as close to the uh, stage as they could uh, when, when Mr. Scott's set began. And what was happening is, is the uh, barricades that were placed in to prevent that surge towards the stage in essence caused uh, other areas of pinch points. And, and as the crowd began to surge and push and compress towards towards the front, it was those people in the center that began to that began to get uh, uh, crushed and, and the injuries start to begin. Now we're still trying to determine what caused the, uh, the crowd to begin that surge, but uh, certainly we're, um, we're looking at everything. We're participating with the Houston Police Department, who's taking the lead on this investigation, and and um, we owe it to the families, and certainly we uh, we need to ensure that this does not happen again. Your department and the Houston Police Department declared a mass casualty event at approximately 9:38. The first patient treated by your paramedics two minutes later, and yet the music reportedly continued. <clears throat> until 10.15. Do you think someone should have called off the concert? Would that have helped uh, minimize the injuries here? Well, look, um, there, there's certainly uh, a lot of questions to be, uh, to be answered there. We did declare a mass casualty uh, incident a little after 9.30. And, you know, I, I, uh, I'm glad we were pre-positioned ahead of time, even though the plan did not recall or call for that uh, for that to happen, we had resources on scene monitoring the conversations. We had some units that uh, were, were pre-deployed and some that were requested soon after. The Our incident commander there was beginning to hear the chatter and the uh, incident escalate. So we were able to quickly respond as soon as, as we knew that the, that the private company that was providing the, the medical component became overwhelmed. But, but let me ask um, you, because you had actually been quoted in the New York Times saying the one person who can really call for and get a tactical pause when something goes wrong is that performer. They have that bully pulpit and they have a responsibility. So let me be very blunt about it. Do you believe the performer, Travis Scott, should have called an end to the concert once he saw what was taking place in front of the stage? Look, absolutely. Look, we all have a responsibility. Everybody in that uh, at that event has a responsibility, starting from the from the artist on down. And uh, certainly, as soon as uh, they became aware, and there was evidence that uh, that the crowd itself was trying to approach some of their private security, some of the security that was in that uh, it, 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 closer to that stage, <clears throat> that something was wrong. Um, at one point, we there was an ambulance that was trying to make its way through the crowd, um, and he's got. You know the artist has command of of that uh, of that crowd. Uh, in my opinion, and this is my opinion right now, because everything is going to be uh, uh, fleshed out throughout this investigation. But uh, certainly, um, a the artist, if, if he notices something that's going on, he can certainly pause that that uh, performance, turn on the lights, and said, "Hey, we're not going to continue until." until this thing is resolved. That's one way to do it, yes. And just just a, one more point on this issue. Do you have any evidence, do you have any reason to believe that the performer or anyone on stage initiated or encouraged this rushing of this stage? You know, we've obviously reported there have been a couple prior guilty pleas by Travis Scott with this kind of conduct. This is a separate night, a separate incident. Is there any evidence that you've collected that suggests in any way he initiated this? No, not at this point. I'm not uh, prepared to say that. Um, I'm not prepared to say that he was fully aware of, of, the, uh, of what was going on. All I'm saying is that um, everybody at that event, from the artist on down, security, and everybody that's, that's there to provide uh, uh, public safety, uh, including the crowds, right, uh, in general, 
we all have a responsibility when we attend these venues to ensure each other's safety. And and um, and so everybody is 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 a uh, we're a community uh, at these events. And and all these are going to be all these answers uh, are are going to be provided hopefully as soon as the investigation is completed. But uh, we really need to take a critical look at at uh, everything that went on there because we cannot have this happen again here in the city or anywhere. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and eight people having lost their lives. Uh, the stakes couldn't be higher. Houston Fire Chief Samuel Pena, thank you for your time this morning, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all be safe. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.